Berger saw it this way. I couldn't say that it was my fault, I couldn't say it was Ricardo's fault, you know, it was just a misunderstanding. He went out from the last corner, I mean, you, you cannot put up the hand in the last corner. And he goes back onto the circuit, Joel Eriksson gets through, and then way up on the curb, Peter Lee, into the back, a complete corkscrew, he crash lands, Pedro Piquet goes underneath, this from another angle, I mean, Piquet, his line suddenly had a punted teeter in the way. Yes. But wait for the impact, this was the first shot we saw. That shot actually illustrates the dust, doesn't it? Because you couldn't see uh, Peter Lee until it was too late. No. And by the same token, Peter Lee could not see teeter until it was too late. And thankfully lands the right way up, but the impact when that car landed will have certainly knocked the stuffing out of Peter, to say the very least, and Ryan Teeter with the adrenaline kicking in, gets out of the car and runs away, and then... Wasn't feeling so good then, was he? No. no. There was drama in 1991, as Ayrton Senna crashed at Peraltada during qualifying. It's a nasty corner, and what just happened to Ayrton uh, just typifies uh, how dangerous that corner is. Remarkably, the Brazilian escaped without injury. With a famous crash at the start of the 1998 race, taking out 13 cars, and another in 2012, removing five. Magnussen, on va revoir ce qui lui arrive. Oh, this. Et le moteur qui reste accéléré après. Ouais, bah surtout parce que son pied était à fond sur l'accélérateur, c'est peut-être pour ça qu'il boite. Mais en fait, c'est le coup de cerceau, tout simplement. Déstabilisé sur le, le vibreur. Et il a trop corrigé euh, par la suite. Oh. Ah, le, le choc a été bien amorti par, euh, par euh, toutes les gommes qui ont été posées. Jacques Villeneuve is no stranger to big accidents. Last year in Belgium, driving for Williams, the Canadian had a huge off at Eau Rouge. Although his car left the circuit at a tremendous rate of knots, Jacques was quite calm and collected about the whole incident. Because it's a big one, uh, and you walk out of the car and you're not hurt, so it's, uh, you know, it's like when you get out of a big fight and you're the one who won. And that we've heard that question asked in GP2, <laughs> let's see it one more time. Peek down the inside, he's definitely got enough of a claim to the corner, but on that inside line, losing the rear and sending the Carlin barrel rolling, really. Dramatic pitches here. That is remarkable. Thankfully, he landed the right way up. But once again, contact involving Canamassas. Let's see it. And that we've heard that question asked in GP2. Let's see it one more time. Peek down the inside. He's definitely got enough of a claim to the corner. But on that inside line, losing the rear and sending the Carlin barrel rolling, really. Dramatic pitches here. That is remarkable. Thankfully, he landed the right way up. But once again, contact involving Canamassas. Let's see it. Rubens Barrichello goes off at the Valianta Bassa. Teammate Eddie Irvine describes how Rubens caught the travel to the anxious Jordan team. I think he just caught the very top of the top of the tires.